So uh, why, why are you here today? OK, I'm here today because I don't believe in racism and I certainly don't believe in the fascist EDL. I just don't know what it is with these middle-class football hooligans. <laughs> but why is everything fascist? Now, I'm no expert on UK against hate, but the little bit that I have researched on them, I've never heard them say that they advocate that the means of production should be controlled through regulation in something known as the corporate state. And this new state, which they've created, should be protected by limiting trade from outside of this state. Because after all, that is what a fascist is. Page one of The Coming Corporate State by Alexander Raven Thompson. People realise that fascism stands for the introduction of the corporate state. Many have a very hazy idea of what this is, how it is going to be brought about and the manner in which it will function. Page 16 of Fascist for the Millions by Oswald Mosley. By the corporate state, fascists mean an ordered system working on the principles of cooperation and under the guidance of experts. Today, we contend the economic life of the country is unplanned, that it is opportunistic, that it lives from day to day and has no long-term policy. We intend to substitute a system in which government will not operate for any one class or section of the community, but for the whole, in which finance and the whole organisation of manufacture and distribution will be marshalled and coordinated to serve the end of the nation. Page 19 of Fascist for the Millions by Oswald Mosley. In the same way that production of goods will be according to schedule, so will imports and exports. It will be impossible to allow traders of Britain to import and to export goods as they desire for such freedom would ruin the planned economy. So my question is to these middle-class hooligans that are irate at the imaginary situation that they've just made up themselves, when have the EDL or UK Against Hate said anything like this?